Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. So if you've been following along with the channel, you've been probably noticing that I've been dropping hints about wanting to do an off-road trailer build. So I'm just gonna show you it. Here is what we got. So this is a trailer that I picked up from a friend a couple weeks back. It started its life as a radar trailer for the, like, the road commission. And I actually have a couple pictures I found online of what it originally did look like. So the story behind this trailer, not this exact one, but one very similar to it, was back in 2018, some friends and I found these trailers for sale and we all picked up one, four of my buddies did. I built an off-road trailer out of mine. Um, we used it for about a year or so. And my daughter was really young at that point. We didn't get as much use of it out of it that we wanted to, so I ended up selling it. Well, my daughter's now six. She loves camping, so I wanted to go ahead and build another one of these. And my buddy that also bought one, he still had his. It was just sitting in his garage taking up space. So I offered him a little bit of money, got me a new trailer, and I got it out of his garage. So this is basically what it looks like. There's three compartments. This is the main compartment of the trailer. So the plan in this back compartment here is we're gonna build um, a fridge slide, and then this is gonna be like a primary kitchen area. And then on the back, or on the side here, oh, that one's locked, we'll have to open that one up in a minute. But anyway, on this side of it, I want to do like just storage, uh, sleeping bags, pillows, stuff like that. And then there's one more compartment up in the front here. And I got that one locked as well. Um, but anyway, this will all be opened up throughout this uh, progression of videos. And in the front here, what I want to do is I want to do water, batteries, um, things of that nature. So anyway, this is going to be the very first video for this. And the first thing that I want to start with is we're going to show you the bottom of the trailer. So when I was building this trailer before, let me get you down here. When I was building this trailer before, it comes with a double leaf spring system. And after I put a rooftop tent on mine and all this extra weight, these leaves started bending. They started straightening out. So what I had to do to my old trailer was I put a five leaf spring system on it, which I've already started loosening up some of the bolts. So anyway, we're gonna go from a two leaf spring system to a five leaf spring system. And that's gonna be the very uh, first step in this trailer build. We got the nut off here with the impact, no problem. But this bolt that runs through here, it is not moving at all. Um, so I'm gonna have to use the impact for it, but to get to it, I'm gonna have to take this tire off. So I'm running into a little bit of an issue. I'm running into a couple bolts that they are not budging whatsoever. Hit them with PB blaster, um, breaker bar, impact, just nothing's taking these bolts out. Uh, it's these ones here, here, here. So I have the nuts off the back end of them. It's just these bolts aren't turning at all. So like I said, when I was building this trailer back in 2018, like a one that was very similar to it, um, I actually had to take it to a shop to get these bolts out and they said they end up having to cut them. Um, so that's probably what I'm going to have to end up doing as well. So we'll keep trying and then 
maybe get the Sawzar cutting tools out. All right, so I took a sledge to the back side of it and I just kind of hammered on it a little bit, put the impact back on and I'm seeing a little bit of movement. So maybe we won't have to cut these bad boys. that little guy out we are gonna turn our attention to the other one on the other side here This side of the axle, the driver's side, we were successfully able to get those two main bolts out. We're still having trouble on the one on the other side, uh, but let's go ahead and just drop this axle, these uh, leaf springs down. There it is. All right, so I wanted to compare real quickly what we took out to compare to what we got going in. So this is the two leaf spring system that we just took out. And then this is a five leaf spring system that we're putting in. So I'm hoping, you know, if anything, the five leaf spring system might be a touch longer. So I'm hoping they match up. We're gonna find out. Thing. I need to take the hammer and just push these this way a little bit so the holes line up. Bingo bango. All right, so I have the driver's side on. Um, the bolts went through just fine. I don't have anything tightened down just yet because I really wanna make sure we get that other side on and just make sure everything's gonna line up before we tighten everything down. But like I said, we just went from two leaf springs to five leaf springs on this side. So we just gotta try to get that bolt out on the other side that's giving us some trouble. I'm hoping I don't have to cut it, uh, but it's just the one that just does not wanna come out. <laughs> messing with that bolt that won't come out so I just chop this off and then we're gonna come right through that bolt to the point where I can get this bolt to spin it's really hot right now um, but it's since I beat the other side of it with a hammer it kind of flattened out so it's actually not going through the hole so I'm going to take a flat disc to that other side and just grind it down real good and then uh, see if I can beat it right through Finally got that pain in the butt bolt out, uh, that one right there. 
So now we're going to mock up our other uh, five leaf spring system. back on hmm well got a little bit of an issue I'm gonna have to go get some new u-bolts uh, so these sit on either side of the axle and this is supposed to sit right up on here and you're supposed to put your bolts right onto here but these are too short with the added length of the um, the leafs so we're gonna have to run up to the hardware store pick up some of these that are a little bit longer quick run to the hardware store picked up some of these they're about half an inch longer than these ones um, other than that they're the same size i'm hoping they're long enough to work i did pick up some larger ones in case these do not work and i'll just return the ones i don't use so this new bolt is a little bit bigger than let me see So that's some of our issue too. So this old bolt that was on here, it sat right in there perfectly. Whereas this one, it's just a little too big. So it's not sitting flush. So I'm just gonna widen out this hole a little bit. And then that way, hopefully it'll give us enough room to get those U-bolts in there. So I drilled that hole out just enough to fit over that uh, nut. Now, See if our bolts are long enough. That's no good. That nut is actually too long at hitting into this. So we'll have to take a sawzall and just cut the very tip of that nut off. We're just gonna use a flap disc. It's here. It'll take an extra minute longer, but let's do it. about perfect. Put my gloves back on just be sure that's hot. All right, that should work. So while I was at the store, I did pick up this U-bolt kit. So quite a bit bigger. The, um, the axle diameter is a little bit small. For this uh these u-bolts but it's just this is going to give us more bite up here um, on our bolts so we're going to go with this one this feels a lot more substantial than what i had on there earlier shifted a little bit so let's go ahead and get the other side started and then before we tighten these down we'll make sure our measurements are good all right so we just took our measurements uh same on both sides just shy of three from the leaf spring to this line right here so we're gonna go ahead and tighten these up all right, so now that we have our axle tightened down, uh, we're gonna go ahead and tighten down our bolts that are holding on the leaf springs. All right, so we got the bolts all tightened down. Now I'm just going to go ahead and get the wheels back on. I did notice some of the spacers that were on, uh, they weren't torqued down as much as I would like. So I'm going to hit those spacers real quick and then put the wheels back on.
All right, so that's gonna be a wrap on this video, part one of the off-road trailer build. Like I said, we went from a two-leaf spring system to a five-leaf spring system. Um, that's gonna basically make our carrying capacity much larger. Um, I think with the two-leaf springs, you're right around 1,500 pounds. Uh, the previous trailer that I built just like this, it had the double leaf spring, and with all the weight that I added on, those leaf springs ended up bending down. Um, so I actually went to the same setup for that one, and I never had an issue after that. So that was why it was the very first thing that I wanted I want to do with this trailer. I just want to make sure that we are starting with a good foundation and then we can just go from there. Anyway, this is episode one of the trailer build. We're going to have multiple more episodes. Um, I think the next episode we're probably going to go um, ahead and get the roof rack installed so we can eventually get the rooftop tan on as well. Um, tomorrow I'm going to drive this down the road just to make sure it drives okay. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out really good. Anyway, thanks for watching this video and we'll catch you guys in the next one.